So BSG just dropped a brand new event on us and I can honestly say that I've been having an absolute blast with it. For those of you who are here for just a quick explanation of what the event is, I'll explain it real quick before we get into the gameplay. Basically on every map except for factory and labs, there's going to be these three wooden bonfires at a random location on the map. I've been doing this on Shoreline and I've seen them at Pier, Village, Resort, down near the terminal, cottages, and the farm. So there are several spawn locations. At these bonfires, there are going to be these new AI called the followers. Now the followers don't really fuck with PMCs too hard so they're going to be hostile and I would say their difficulty level is slightly less than raiders but much higher than scavs. Once you make contact with these fucking idiots you need to kill them all in order to start the ritual with the bonfire. The tricky part about that is that they will continuously spawn in waves until the ritual is started so make sure you bring lots of ammo. Once you've dealt with the followers and everything's chilled out a bit you need to locate the three bonfires and start shooting them within 20 meters with tracer rounds in order to light them on fire every time you shoot one and light it up it will stay lit for 10 seconds until you need to shoot it again to make it stay lit if any of the three bonfires go out during this process you'll basically have to start over this is super tough as a solo but not impossible after about 30 seconds to a minute of keeping the fires lit you'll hear a bird start whistling and that will let you know that the ritual is complete after that a friendly zarachi will spawn and drop you a random item the one time I managed to finish the ritual, he dropped me a whiskey, but I've heard from several people that they've gotten a yellow key card from him. And that's basically it on how all of this works. There's a few quests that come along with this event, and I'm currently on the third one, so I don't really know how far this quest line goes at the moment. One thing that I do want to point out is that the followers very frequently spawn with the CQCM and the Death Shadow Mask, so if you're trying to get your hands on those, this is an easy way to farm them. Also, the CQCM Mask sells for about 300k on the flea, and the Death Shadow sells for around 120k so this is not a bad way to farm up some rubles if that's your thing overall i'd say that this is a pretty awesome event and so far it's been a blast for me let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it and what's the best item you've been dropped after completing the ritual i'll leave you guys with some gameplay of myself and a teammate finishing the ritual so you guys can get an idea of how it all goes before that quick reminder i'm live over on twitch pretty much every day around 7 p.m eastern standard time and i'd love to see you guys over there but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video they're here. There's already a dead one. That means people are dead here. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot, brother. We need to get down in that building. Another one on the right side. I'm gonna come down to you. All right, I'm coming in. Look for a GPU real quick. All right, we gotta figure out where the towers are because I haven't seen any yet. I'm out of nades. I'm gonna go get some. I think I got the only one up here. No, there's another one. Oh, here's the player. He killed a couple and got folded. He brought chocolate as his food. What a bozo. Okay. Oh my God. One up by the tent still. I think these are regular scavs. Okay. Got him. Oh, they're spawning in behind us now. Another one. I got him. It's about to get dark. We might want to do the thing. All right. I'm going to look for all the things. Got one right here. All right. So there's one right there. Probably one. Yep. One right here. So we just need to find the third one. If you find the third one and sit on it, then I can run between the other two. Yeah, the other one's over here at the beginning of the shooting range. So if you want to sit on that one, I'll do the other two. We got eight minutes. Yep. I'm all topped up on ammo. How long does this take? Do you know? All right. Yeah, I think you have to be pretty close.
Yep. Just keep it lit. If we fuck this up, we gotta go. It stays lit for like 10 seconds. Apparently we're supposed to hear a bird whistle when we're done. There it is. Wow, that was quick. Oh, he's on me. Apparently he has insane health, so we can't kill him. It's Zarachi. He gave me a whiskey. I don't think he's going to give us anything else. <laughs> really? Bro is on a mission now. All right. See you, dude. Yeah, it's really not worth finishing it. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> it's kind of ass. I've been in the hills killing dudes. All right, I'm stemming up. We do have road to customs, right? Good, yeah. Oh wait, I have unlimited sprint. Do I get this for the rest of the raid? No, it's gone. That's kind of cool. You get unlimited stamina. For like running in between them. I feel like I'm about to get jump scared by the Rachi. Oh, he's over here. Just wandering around now. You gonna give me some more stuff? kill him but he's like all right guys i gotta get out of here <laughs> it was hard work delivering that whiskey well that was neat at least i got it done all that for whiskey dude ammo I had <laughs> oh god <laughs> I slid all the way down my chair the shoulders on the bottom of the chair feet sprawled out oh I tried to get out I didn't know how much ammo I had <laughs> it's so What is going on? <laughs> what are y'all doing? I'm dead. Our gun is getting absolutely toasted. I can't load mags. Oh, we're fucked here, brother. No! Oh! It was jammed again? What the fuck was that? Dude, I couldn't load mags and I couldn't shoot. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. 
Dude, he doesn't die. Oh my god, this game. Dude, every time I go to that exact spot by that red shed, some bullshit like that happens. Every time, dude. What the fuck?